Hello and welcome to Elite Weather. My name is Mr. G. I am your meteorologist today as we talk about the weather forecast for your upcoming weekend. So as we take a look at our city of the day, our city of the day is going to be the lovely city of Austin, Texas. And Austin is the state capital of Texas and it's an inland city bordering the hill country region to the east, which is the moist part, the green part of Texas. And we're going to be, <laughs> and it's also home of the University of Texas flagship campus. Austin is known for its eclectic live music scene centered around country, blues, and rock. And it has many parks and lakes and that are popular for hiking, biking, swimming, and boating. And south of the city, Formula One Circuit of the America's Racetrack also hosted the United States Grand Prix. So just a little bit about the beautiful city of Austin, Texas. You're looking at 79 degrees out there, a much cooler day as you're no longer dealing with that triple digit heat. So some welcome, welcome relief from the heat across the state of Texas. But you are looking at the potential for showers and thunderstorms this afternoon to be moving in from the west. But you did see some showers this morning, but that is going out of the area just off to your east now. But you'll see showers and storms likely again this afternoon and into the evening hours and as we take a look at the radar for the Austin area as you can see those showers and storms Austin is right there all that stuff is just off to your east that you saw this morning and it's headed off toward the Louisiana area at this time now let's talk about your weather today and the weather today our weather highlights we're going to be seeing the active monsoon across the southwest continue as well as a west coast heat wave as we're seeing that triple digit heat in the pacific northwest and through portions of central california as well and severe storms expected through sections of the midwest as we take a look at our satellite, we're going to see that frontal boundary here across the southeast that's been pretty much stationary here over the last three or four days. And it's been producing uh, copious amounts of rainfall down here. We have our low pressure area and frontal boundary here in the Midwest that's going to be producing our severe weather there this afternoon. And we have our monsoonal flow here in the southwest with an area of uh, disturbed weather uh, a disturbance here embedded in this flow as well that's exacerbating the monsoon of its situation and re in creating more heavy rainfall for that region and we have this guy out here over the Bay of Campeche this uh, tropical disturbance here that could be our next tropical depression and or tropical storm or maybe even hurricane depending on what direction it goes but we think it might go this way which will mean it may not become a tropical storm it may become a tropical depression but hit land before it can develop further or it can move to the north and affect the state of Texas or New Orleans you just don't know yet so we're just going to keep an eye on that guy down there because it could get interesting pretty quickly here all right, so as we take a look at the radar, and what we're seeing again is that frontal boundary down here across the southeast with rainfall from the Carolinas all the way down along the Gulf Coast over into the state of Texas where we've been seeing showers and some thunderstorms as well. And we're going to be seeing our monsoon starting to get going across the southwest. We have our upper level disturbance down here near the Mexican border in southern Arizona. So that's going to be exacerbated the monsoons and we're going to be seeing that moisture plume from the monsoons extend through uh, the Rockies all the way toward the Pacific Northwest well, we have an upper level low there that could pick up some of that moisture and cause some showers and storms through portions of the midwest of the northwest this afternoon and here we have another low pressure area here across Minnesota with an associated cold front. That's going to be the next weather maker across the eastern half of the nation over the next several days. And it's going to create that severe weather in that region this afternoon. 
And here we are as we look at look at our watches and hazards and things like that. We have our big, huge area that can see some flooding and flash flooding down through Arizona and New Mexico. So we have that from those monsoons. We have a heat advisory for the Central Valley, and we have a heat advisory and an excessive heat watch in place for portions of the Pacific Northwest, mainly up there in the state of Washington. And we have a flood watch here across portions of Texas. So this is the uh, Dallas-Fort Worth area where we could be seeing some flooding for heavy rainfall in that area as well uh, over the next couple of days. And that's not for today. That's coming for, my, for Sunday onward where we have the potential for several inches of rain over the next several days. All right, here we are as we take a look at our surface map. Here is that stationary front down across the southeast. I think eventually it's going to wash out over the next few days. It's not going to move any direction. It's not a lot of, it's very weak steering currents out there. So there's not a whole lot to push these guys along. So we're seeing a lot of training situations, but there are embedded these little ales. You see embedded short waves of low pressure, which do enhance the uh, thunderstorm activity down in these regions. So you do get that with these frontal boundaries. And we have our second frontal boundary and low pressure here that's moving across the northern tier and the great up Upper Midwest through the Great Lake area, that's going to be spreading this secondary front, and this is going to supplant this guy down here eventually as it moves off to the east and southeast. So we're going to be seeing those showers and so and storms and our severe weather in this region over the next couple days as well. So as we take a look at our upper air current for this afternoon, we're seeing that area of low pressure there across Minnesota, and we're seeing our big ridge here across the west. So predominantly a western ridge with troughing toward the east, and we do have uh, periodic impulses of energy that come across the northern tier of the nation and drop down toward the Great Lakes and the upper Mississippi Valley and the portions of the mid-Atlantic states as the as time goes on. Here's what we're going to be seeing tomorrow. Our guy uh, moves down a little bit further to the south and east through Minnesota and into Iowa. It does intensify, intensify a little bit, but we have a secondary low pressure here across southeastern Canada, and I think this guy is going to take over and this guy is eventually going to start to wash out as it moves off to the eastern uh, towards the uh, Great Lakes area for by Sunday so we're going to see this guy weaken but that guy intensify and our ridge to the west is going to start to move more to the center of the nation as we move through the weekend here we are with our temperature anomaly, and then we're going to be seeing here, we're going to be seeing temperatures below normal in the west, in the southwest, and because of the heavy rainfall and cloud cover, and we're also going to be seeing temperatures across this region below normal too because of cloud cover and rainfall. But we're going to see above average here across the northern tier of the nation and towards the northwest as we've been seeing a lot of hot weather out there. So the temperatures have been above average out toward the Pacific Northwest and along the northern tier of the nation. Here we are as we take a look at the temperatures, uh, the max temperatures that we're seeing out there today. And we are seeing those temperatures in the 90s and triple digits here through portions. We will be seeing it through portions of Kansas and Oklahoma City and we will be seeing in Oklahoma, but we will be seeing those 90s here down far, far southern Texas. Not really so much in the triple digits, but getting close across southern Texas and we're going to be seeing <coughs> We're going to be seeing things cool off there across the state of Texas, and we're going to be seeing our hot weather there in the Pacific Northwest as we're seeing those highs in the 90s and low 100s out there. And again, across the Central Valley of California, the heat. But we're seeing a lot much cooler weather here across the upper Mississippi Valley, the Great Lakes, and into the Northeast, and even down to the Southeast, with the exception of far southeastern Georgia and the state of Florida, where those 90s will hang on because it's not as much cloud cover and rainfall down in that region. It's just right in this section, right in here, we're seeing all that rainfall 
and over to the four corners. All right, so here we are as we take a look at our precipitation over the next seven days. Look at this region here. All of that rainfall expected through portions of Texas and across the southeast and along the southeastern U.S. and into portions of the, the southeast coast here through the Carolinas. We're going to be seeing a lot of rainfall. And some of that is rainfall potential in excess of up to 10 inches, especially here in this region here across portions of East Texas. You can see as much as 10 inches of rain over the next seven days. So some beneficial rainfall. Here's our, our precipitation, our seven day uh, anomaly for our precipitation anomaly again. Uh, very much above average rainfall over the next seven days across the southern deserts, uh, the southern plains, and into portions of the southeast. As we're seeing lots of rainfall, we'll be seeing over the next seven days, and we have already seen through the portions of Arizona and southern New Mexico. Here's your three-day forecast. For your Friday afternoon, we're going to be seeing those showers and thunderstorms out there with, with those monsoons and that upper-level disturbance out there that's going to continue to uh, spark those showers and storms and that, those heavy sh rains out there this afternoon. The hot weather will continue from the Pacific Northwest down through the state of California. Dry weather across the northern and central plains, but we will see those showers and storms across the upper Mississippi Valley and through the Midwest, where that severe weather is possible this afternoon, and more of those rains down across the Gulf Coast and into portions of the Southeast, where we can see some heavy rain down along the Gulf Coast and through portions of the Southeast Coast down here through the Carolinas, where some heavy rain and flooding is also going to be possible today. And tomorrow, again, showers and storms mostly for the um, Great Lakes area through portions of the Northeast down through the southeast, the mid-south, the midwest, down along the Gulf Coast into the state of Florida, the four corners as well with the monsoons, so more flash flooding down here across southern Arizona, central and southern New Mexico, and to portions of north and western, northwestern Texas, where we can see heavy rain, and we can see more severe weather through the midwest here, and into portions of the Great Lakes for your Saturday, and we're going to be seeing that dry weather across the upper Mississippi Valley, the Northern Plains, and the Pacific Northwest down through the West Coast where our heat wave will continue for your Saturday. And then for your Sunday, all right, so we have uh, that high pressure dropping down out of Canada, so we're going to be seeing that cooler weather across the northern, t the north central U.S. down into the in the Midwest here and into the central and southern place, we're going to start to see cooler weather. And now we're going to get that focusing of heavy rain. We're going to have some training uh, convergence going on right here. And we're going to have several days in a row of heavy rain in this region through portions of Texas, Oklahoma, down through the Mid-South and along the Gulf Coast and over towards the Southeast as well. Over the next several days, we're going to be dealing with repeated rounds of heavy rain that's going to lead to some flooding issues and those showers and storms will also affect portions of the northeast as well and the mid-atlantic states and portions of southeastern canada so montreal and toronto is going to get in some of that rainfall as well all right so here's our severe weather outlook we'll go through this quickly because the real problem is going to be today and here's our severe weather maker here this low pressure with this trough here and we have this cold front and a secondary low right in here and that's going to be the catalyst for this afternoon severe weather today tomorrow and on sunday because this guy is going to move to the east and it's going to have a hit severe weather out ahead of it each of those next three days of those those three days and we have this guy across the southeast that's going to have isolated rounds of severe weather possible but not enough that we're going to put a severe weather outlook for that region but an isolated severe storm is certainly not out of the question as there's going to be a lot of rainfall and thunderstorms associated with that frontal boundary as well so here we are with our cape so we're going to see a little bit of cape here across the midwest 
down across the southwest as well and along the Gulf Coast. That's going to be our area where we're going to be really seeing a lot of thunderstorms as we see the Alida Cape in place uh, for the energy for those storms this afternoon today, okay? And all right, as we talk about our, uh oh all right, so here we are with our, our severe weather outlook today. We're going to be really seeing it in the Midwest here, especially there where we're going to be seeing a heavy rain, some large hail, damaging winds, and an isolated tornado in the yellow. So that's our slight risk area. And then the dark green is our marginal risk and that primarily is going to be some rainfall and some gusty winds with that. So we're going to see those 60 mile an hour winds there. And we're going to be seeing that rainfall down here along the southeast with that severe weather threat. And tomorrow, again, our severe weather threat weakens a little bit as our low pressure area starts to weaken a bit as well. But it's going to move off to the east. And we're going to see that, mar that marginal risk through portions of the Midwest for your Saturday. And that's going to be that some heavy rain and some wind is going to be your primary threat. And again, the same thing on Sunday as that moves a little bit closer to the northeast. And now we're dealing with the Ohio Valley that's going to be dealing with some rain and wind as well. All right, here's your tropical outlook as we get ready to wrap this up. And the tropical outlook is finally looking a little bit interesting as we have this guy across the Bay of Campeche. Uh, it's our latest investment here, and it's going to possibly become a tropical depression by tomorrow. So by this time tomorrow, I'm going to be talking about a tropical depression down in the Bay of Campeche. We're going to have to watch where it goes, because if it goes here, it's going to hit the Mexico. It's not going to really have time to develop, but if it stays out over the water, maybe moves off to the north, it could become an issue for Houston or Texas or somewhere, or New, maybe New Orleans and Louisiana and we're gonna have to watch it because then it'll have time to develop maybe even reach hurricane status so we're gonna have to watch where the current takes this thing it's been a strong current toward the west so it's more than likely gonna either move this way or somewhere right in here and it may become a tropical storm it may or may not it just all depends on how soon it hits the next landmass and because and what these things need is time and this guy may not have the time as we've had a very quiet tropical season because of that dust coming off of the Sahara so we're not seeing a whole lot of action going on and um, so that is a look at the weekend weather forecast my name is Mr. G we'll be back tomorrow with a quick update it may not be this long but we'll do a quick update on how the forecast is panning out tomorrow so all right well, I'm gonna wrap this up I did a live stream I did my TikTok video and I did this video I'm hungry I'm about to pass out because I'm really hungry so I'm gonna wrap this up thanks for watching guys and I'll see you tomorrow with our update have a good day bye bye